What's up? Before I get into this video, I want to give a quick shout out to my main man, Kool-Aid Man 100X. Please check out his channel, best graphics in the game right now. Without further ado, here is my final challenge. What's going on YouTube? Are you ready to be entertained? And hey, you found me, the underground commentator. And this is the last installment in the Playbook Challenge series. To wrap it up, I have the Vikings. Uh, the goal of this challenge series was to play a ranked game with every team, every playbook. There's team specific offense or team specific defense. I think I've said it enough. But uh, the Vikings, this is one of my favorite games in the challenge because this is my first attempt with the Vikings. And one of the things that you see in this opening drive is I really made it a point to come out and pass in that first drive to set the tone because when you're playing against the Chiefs, oh look here, I almost get a fumble, but uh, the booth reviews it and it's not gonna hold up. And it gets overturned, but when you set out and you play a game and you play against the Chiefs, you know, they have a devastating run stopping defense. And right there, dude throws a pickoff to a girl, Aaron Henderson. Yeah, I want to see someone call Aaron Henderson a girl to his face. That would be very funny. You know, I didn't know that he was EJ Henderson's twin brother. I thought they just were misspelling EJ Henderson's name. But, anyways, <coughs> excuse me, back to what I was saying. Opening drive, I really wanted to pass the ball, set the tone. Ooh, look at those moves. This dude got broken out of his ankles. It was hobbled like in that movie Misery. And then Matt Castle scored the touchdown. But I wanted to come out passing. Jeez. Let me finish the sentence game to establish the pass so that I could use the run later and get this guy back on his heels thinking that I was going to pass it a lot. And then throughout the rest of the game, I sort of mixed a nice balance of passing. But on that opening drive, I ran like five consecutive six passes in a row here. And that really got him off balance was what I really, you know, like needed to do. And here he runs the Wildcat with Jamal Charles, who was an absolute monster in this game. And he scores a touchdown, and he's back within seven points of me. So, well, we're going to have a sprint here. So I do the play action, plus the running really sets up the play action in this game. If you know how to use run, pass, play action, all that good stuff, you can do stuff like this. Look at Adrian Peterson get loose right there up the sideline. Adrian Peterson, such a beast. On this counterplay, look, I'm just taking advantage of the oh look he does fumble there but luckily when you get a fumble that goes out of bounds statistically he's probably not going to do it later here on the stick play i find cordell patterson suddenly emerging into a stud wide receiver they seem to just get receivers in minnesota and they seem to just leave for some reason i think percy harvin was there miranda moss was there and yeah, chris carter i don't think he ever left he just couldn't win champion oh, oh i said that uh, and, um, you know, but uh, here we go. We're up 21-7. And, uh, again, Jamal Charles was a real difference maker in this game. But here he throws it to, uh, I think that's either McCluster or Bo. And he just walks out of bounds with like a minute and 20 left. But it doesn't matter because any amount of time you leave on the uh, scoreboard for me is too much time. That's right. <laughs> We're within 21-14. And uh, Jamal Charles scores his second touchdown. And for those of you scoring at home, Jamal Charles scored his second touchdown. But here, Kyle Rudolph, the red nose reindeer, is open in space to the right. I'm dropping my album uh, next year, probably. You know, it's going to be a collection of karaoke songs, mostly holiday songs, a little, little Bible music in there, you know, for those of you who get down like that. Here are four seconds left. I call a run play, counter to the right side. One-on-one -on -one user versus me. Sorry, Adrian Peterson is going to win that battle. I get the touchdown I need. Of course, coming out of half, I kick the ball to him. I'm thinking, hey, you know what? Let's play conservative defense. Let him take a lot of time to score. And, of course, Jamal Charles just runs right up the gut for a touchdown. And I'm only up with a touchdown, uh, you know, with 547 and a whole half to play. But I'm thinking... Man, if I get a nice return, that would be really awesome. And somehow Cordell Patterson gets chased down by a defensive lineman. Amazing! And he does not score, but Adrian Peterson is going to go ahead and say, you know what, I got you back, homie. I will go ahead and get into the end zone for you, unless you want to pass underneath here to me. And that is six more points. Pat ah. Nah, that was not Cordell Peterson. Party of six. The table is now ready. And apparently I stutter. I be, be, be like Elmer Fudd and then again same theory let's make Jamal Charles beat us on the ground and take a lot of time to score and he just runs right 
up the middle and he's down only seven again. And instead of just running the ball and becoming predictable, I pass in the middle to Simpson, Jerome, and then uh, Adrian Peterson. Look at him just get more yards. That's what he does, man. He could be shut down completely. He'll just get more yards. Here's a PA wide receiver in. I believe I adjust and I tell Patterson to go on a smart routed out and just in case. They drop it to a zone over there to cover it, which they do. I have Rudolph underneath, but they can't get there in time. And I pick up a nice critical first down. But here, fourth and eight. This is really a big play. And I find Patterson on that little post route. He had a deep zone set up, but I find him anyway. Found a hole in the offense, and I'm not stupid. Eventually, he does stop me, and I take a field goal. So I'm up 10, about 3.30 left to go. And I'm like, all right, we got to keep Jamal Charles out of the end zone again. This is what we're trying to do is come. Seriously, you guys can't prevent him from running up the... Wow. I think that's five touchdowns for Charles. He goes for the onside kick down three, and he does commit a penalty. And then Marty, Marty picks up the ball. You know, there was a legal child touching here on the play. And uh, now we're up 38, 35. All we need is a couple first downs, you know. Throughout the challenge, throughout the toughness that was this challenge, I used a lot of killing of the clock. That's the one thing when you don't know a playbook, uh, that's what you do. So this was a very fun challenge. I, I hope you enjoyed this series. I might do a review of every playbook, period. I might do the run and shoot. I might do the John Madden, you know, but I'm going to sprinkle them in. I'm probably going to come back to hunting for skill points for a little while. My record did suffer. I'm going to come up with a summary video as well, you know, some thoughts on what I thought about each individual playbook. So I hope you enjoyed this series. Leave some feedback, like, comment, and please subscribe if you are finding me, the underground commentator, for the first time. Thanks for watching my vid. Five points. I'm out.